What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing awesome. Figured I'd come out here today to the backyard and just do a review on this Ruger Mark IV. I've got this set up with a primary arms red dot on top. This thing is threaded, so we'll do a few shots here with uh, unsuppressed, and then we'll thread on the dead air mask silencer suppressor and just kind of give you guys a comparison of how that does but this thing's just great for you know like a training type device because it's so cheap to shoot being 22 long rifle but um it's kind of the same ergonomics as a 1911 with the size of this grip this thing just cycles super well really fun to shoot just a blast because it's so cheap and it's pretty accurate for what it is but we'll get started here we'll just have some fun shooting we'll shoot some steel plates i've got some expired coke cans here we'll shoot and then i've got some clay pigeons as well so we'll get started and see how it does So just running some Winchester white box, uh, the Super X stuff through this. Just some cheap plinking ammo. And a couple different mags here we'll fill up and then just wanted to show you there at first a few shots unsuppressed and then the way I always run it is suppressed. It's just so much more fun that way and pretty quiet, pretty impressive. So, so we'll lock the bolt to the rear, make sure we're empty and then we'll take off our thread protector. Get the suppressor out. Threads right on there, real simple. Snug it down. Pretty sweet um i'll shoot a few shots here and miss the plates just so you can kind of get an idea how quiet it is um, just with the suppressor attached <laughs> man that's just too much fun just a super fun little pistol you know it's not an everyday carry piece or anything like that but just really handy to be able to train with and you know get out to the range and just pump a lot of rounds out of it with uh, the cost of 22 long rifle compared to 9 or 40 or 45 you know that adds up pretty quick a day at the range shooting your uh, everyday carry pistol but and the red dot on top, I think really think that's the, the future of pistols, handguns. It's um, been on a rapid rise here lately, and I'm really a big fan of uh, utilizing red dots on my handguns. It's much quicker target acquisition once you get used to it. It, it is a little bit of a learning curve at first, but then uh, it's also a really good um, training tool because that red dot, once you first try it, it really shows your you know your imperfections it really shows how much you're not keeping the pistol steady and um, just really shows you what you're doing wrong then 
one last thing I wanted to show you guys about this pistol. So anybody that's had the previous model of this type of pistol uh, knows how cumbersome and difficult and just a pain in the butt it was to disassemble and clean this pistol, this handgun. So I'll just show you here how easy this is to disassemble. You drop your empty mag out, make sure it's on safe. Got this button here below the bolt. You just depress that button, hinges, and it comes apart. You've got your upper assembly, and then you've got your lower. So then you can just get right in there and clean. Pull your bolt straight out, clean it, clean your barrel, put it back together, and it's done. So that's really awesome and just a well needed upgrade by Ruger. So that's just a big plus because we know how uh, dirty 22 runs and then plus once you're running it with a suppressor it gets even worse. So just to be able to get it you know, uh, field strip it that quickly if you need to, or once you get inside, uh, tear it down and clean it. It's just so much easier than those prior models uh, that Ruger was making for the 2245s. Just super fun, super cheap. Run it with the suppressor. There's nothing like it. Uh, you don't even need this hearing protection, but I still use it anyway. Uh, but it's definitely hearing safe out of this short barrel. It's not reaching uh, supersonic speeds. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more. And as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.